Hello guys! Good afternoon! So today's activity or today's canap in my channel I am going to teach you on how to compute the MPS or the mean percentage score and it regards about the summative test that you had given to your pupils and it involves the number of items the number of cases of how many uh, students or pupils you have in your classroom and besides I am going to present to you the template and the table on how to compute the MPS of the number of your pupils or number of cases and then the number of items of your test construction and there is a formula in computing the mean and the MPS so if you want to learn this so just stay tuned and keep watching this video so first thing that you need to do is to have the heading so since the heading is present Department of Education Region 6 Western Visayas and that is my heading it depends on you on what school are you from what district you are and what school were you from it also depends on you if you are going to put an emblem or a logo in your heading okay so let's go back so we have now our heading so here is our heading the logo and then the subject the grade which is grade 4 where I am teaching then number of cases 14 these are my number of pupils and then number of items which is 20 so let's proceed to the template or to the table so number of items we have here so you are going to arrange from 20 going down to 1 so 20 19 18 17 going to 1 and then below the number 1 the total and then number of cases so you are going to base the number of cases to the result of your summative test like for example you have one pupil or one student who got a 20 perfect score so let's just say they have or there are two so you are going to erase the zero and put here two like that and then the total score you are going to erase the zero and then you are going to multiply 20 times 2 so this will become 40 here so in number of cases since you have already 2 here so 14 minus 2 there are only 12 pupils left so you are going to base to their summative test result of what score they got and you are going to enter the score of how many pupil or pupils who got 19, who got 18, who got 17, so on and so forth. So that you could able to have the total score of their um summative test and then after that after that you could now identify the mean and the mps by solving them so here is the formula and here are the number of cases so 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equivalent to 14 cases so it is fixed now so mean equals total score over number of cases so our total score all in all is 192 here it is so you are just going to copy it and then paste it here 192 
divided by 14. So, where I get the 14, so number of cases. Then, you are just going to divide them. It will be equal to 13.714. That would be your mean. Now, for solving the MPS, so here is the code or the formula mean over number of items times 100. So, we have here the mean. Our numerator is our mean. So, 13.714. Here it is. Just copy and paste it here. And then number of items, how many items do I have in my test? So I have 20 items, just copy and paste it also here, times 100. Then divide these two and then multiply by 100, this would be the result, 68.57. So that would be so easy for you to get the MPS or the mean percentage score of the pupils a summative test result so it is very easy and this is my sample for you for having the MPS or for making and solving that would be um, convenient for you to do your um, solving in MPS so thank you very much so that's all about on how to make mean percentage score or MPS and how to solve using the formula. You could also apply that in your various subjects like what I did in grade 4. You could also apply it in other grades. So thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe for more updated videos and tutorials and learnings. God bless!